our last topic of the week, uh, Spider-Man had a ton of Easter eggs that I kind of wanted to just talk about in here and have us talk about separately from anything else. So, if you guys saw the movie, what were some of your favorite ones? Like, obviously, there's the Miles Morales Easter egg, which is pretty damn awesome. Just There's the Ultron head that he pulls oh. out. That, that was funny as hell. Well, I, yeah. I say uh, Ultron head, it was the Ultron head because it wasn't like the blank face one. Mm -hmm. actually... yeah, um, yeah. I think my favourite Easter egg was actually less of an Easter egg, more of just a reference to the Sam Raimi ones with the upside down kiss yeah. moment when the suit tells him to kiss. I like. I, I just I laughed so much then because it's the first time that a later Spider-Man movie has referenced the previous franchise because Amazing Spider-Man wanted nothing to do with the Well see, franchise. people keep mentioning the meatloaf. I'm like, dude, that's been a running gag in every Spider-Man movie. The well, meatloaf. I think meatloaf, meatloaf is a thing that's in Spider-Man anyway, I think. Isn't Aunt May famous for a bad meatloaf? I think she might be, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think I... that's something Stan Lee might have added. Like, <laughs> I feel like I feel like I might hate this part, but I wished... Like something like in Tasm one where uh where Aunt May was like, Did you remember to get the eggs in and at the very end of the movie he still brings the eggs? I thought that was nice. I well, like that. Spider Man I... one had had great moments like that. So that's what I'm saying, like something like that, like as a I don't know if it's a reference, could could have been to that, but uh all I don't know is like something like that would have been nice too. That's just I mean yeah, I so I'm over here trying to remember like Thor's belt was a thing in this. Yeah, Thor's yeah. belt was Cap's Thor's magic belt. Yeah, I remember him saying that because like they were saying like a lot of things. That's the one that like enhances his strength and stuff. So I'm wondering if they're gonna actually use that in. Yeah, me too. That'd be kind of awesome. Oh. Like, okay, I but I want to go back and watch Civil War now. Can we I talk know, about maybe the other he gets one? it in Ragnarok and that's what lets him be beat the Hulk finally the or something? Here's the one I do want to talk about though. Why the hell is Cap getting a new shield made by Tony Stark? Because why wouldn't he get a new shield? I, just, like it's, I think it's clearly old stuff that, that Stark the, was tinkering with when he, man, Avengers maybe, Tower was the thing. What if it's a prototype a, Cap shield that we saw in Iron Man 1 and 2? Just isn't, that, isn't that sad? That breaks my heart a little bit, though, that Avengers Tower, they were moving now, and I was like, oh, the Avengers it, it, it are actually broken of, up. It's kind of like they've come so far, and it's... Bro, yeah. Oscorp got to take that over for the sequel. Yeah, no, I heard that. The yeah. funny thing is, they've had the tower since Avengers 1, and they barely used it, really. What? Like It's uh, been a what? set piece for a couple no. of moments, and that's it. I, I well that's that's all we know of. That's the problem well, I, of I the spend, movie where you don't necessarily have you can you can't spend I mean, all that honest, much time. Did you know? really need the tower. They've had fucking yeah, everything yes. in the comics. So like, it's just, I it made for a good setting for their animated series that they did. I can, can, can we, after Avengers one. Can we go back to that moment in Avengers: Age of Ultron at the very end where Thor, Cap, and Tony are just walking and talking about the stones, like, and they're yeah. all like the three brothers basically, and I was like. Man, that was such a perfect moment. And then Civil War happened. I was like, no. Wait, I wanted to see like a scene in the tower where we actually get to see some of the floors and we see Bruce Banner's floor when he's just like working. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, that's we see like an Iron Man armor floor where like, whoa, it's like 200 but, armors in the back. But it's like, we never got, that, like, I feel like I don't like know the tower room. other than that one room where Loki gets the shit beat out of him. That's the only room we really yeah. see, you know? It's well, like, you, had, you see that, that one in Ultron too. Ultron. Yeah, that's, that's the same yeah. room, isn't it? No, it's uh, not I, oh, okay. I would say that's something you could see in like a you could have seen in a Spider-Man Homecoming because like I said that is like a a glorified side quest where like Happy is just it's moving day and all this and uh, but it's the problem with movies again it's not necessarily a bad thing that's just what happens is you don't get to spend a lot of time. You know Hang on, I mean? just just so. quickly, what tower did they use in Homecoming? Then was the Avengers two tower? towers look significantly different. Star really? Tower does not look like Avengers Tower. Avengers Tower's got a block on the front of it. Mm. It's the same know. shape, but the like where the stuff lands is different. Yeah. Oh, no, I figured we were just, just seeing it from a different angle, like or something. I don't know. Nah, because like, we always saw the front, and now we're seeing the tower. Yeah. It, it looks it's definitely different from all angles. Mm. Uh, Marble. Who knows, maybe Why Star you had it shit really up, Marble. And over the years. God damn it! I mean, you know what? The <laughs> That's something you could see, the whole, like, different floor things, like, or at least different sections of the Avengers facility. That's something you could see in Ant-Man and the Wasp, because that is another one I feel like that's a glorified side quest where it's a very smaller story, and you, you could see smaller details him, like let that. Let him go to a Stark place. <laughs> mm. I, I mean, look, Scott Lane can do whatever he wants, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> 
True. He yeah. still went there anyways. Unless he's under the staff yeah. of Pym. It's like, no, you did a bad thing. Don't do that again. Oh, what if this gives way to Pimptron in this no. next one? Don't. My heart wouldn't take you. <laughs> what, what was, what's his name, uh... The the dude from Silicon Valley. Did they ever specifically name what his teacher name was, or that he was? Uh, the... I, I wish it was the same guy that Peter Parker, uh, not Peter Parker, Bruce Banner gave pizza to. Yeah, I'm a dash Cho. That was my hope too. I was like, oh, I wish that was him. That'd be awesome little connective tissue there. But if you see it again, maybe I have to check the credits because I didn't even look. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they ever. It'd, it'd be named awesome him. if it was. Well, he was never named in um. What's it called? An, an Incredible Hulk. It was only in the novelization that they actually revealed yeah. what his name was. So it was like, yeah. uh, they could just make it that he's the teacher and he was at, at college studying for his teaching degree. <laughs> yeah, so, but then again, that does fuck up um, Cho's mum in uh, Age of Ultron because that Amadeus Cho in the Incredible Hulk is far older, or at least looks older so, than what she is. Yeah, and Incredible Hulk, kid. he's credited as computer nerd, and he's Mr. Harrington in Homecoming. So, I mean, we, they could just say, yeah, it's the same character, and he's just, you know. Mm. So, yeah. He was a computer nerd when he was at college, right? <laughs> okay. He's the same guy. He was a nerd, and he figured, what, what better job for a nerd than a teacher? He got a pizza slice, saw Edward Norton. That's, that's great. <laughs> so, wasn't the, um, the principal one of the Howling Commandos' grandsons, or great-grandsons? Yep. Mm. Yep, he was. Yeah. That's a pretty great one too. Um, I thought that one was awesome because they keep doing because you know Trip was also a descendant of one of the Howling Commandos. It's a like, god. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. I need to go back watch season two and stuff like that. And one, those are. I like Shield like the first. I think season three is my favorite. I like it more than four, to be honest. Mm. That's just me well, though. Let's talk about three was the great. one Easter egg that people keep referencing, but we don't know if it'll play out in the future. Maybe. Ned, maybe last name Leeds. We don't know as of right now. Could he? He's, he's Ned Leeds. Yeah. Like, but they won't come out and say if it's that Ned Leeds. You know, like, I I honestly don't see this Ned Leeds getting on a glider and being a goblin. So, uh, like, my theory always was it's going to be his dad. Like, Ned Leeds. He works out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Who was the, the other hobgoblin, the old dude? Uh, is it ben shit. Kingsley, yeah, no, Kingsley, yep, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose they could retrofit him to be Ned's dad and do it that way. But... Ben Kingsley, Ben Dash, Ben Kingsley, because why not? So he, Ben Kingsley's going from playing uh, playing the Mandarin <laughs> to doing this. Yes, yeah. you know, it's how he makes up for like disrespecting the Mandarin. You can tie the one shot. Uh, he made up for that in the one shot. That was yeah. a great one shot. Or Robert Kingsley, get... that's who we were thinking of. Robert, that's yeah, 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 that's the one. They're, they're going to get a scene where Peter's going to ask, why do all my friends have villains for fathers? Yeah, <laughs> every every movie, why? Uh, it's good stuff. Except I like... for Gwen Stacy's father, who so, was just like a really good guy, they, but just kind of an arsehole at the same They time. never did mention, though, how the hell Liz Allen's last name is not Toombs. I'm like, it yeah. could do it by he. The, she just went by her mother's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but then that's also a little bit that's weird in, in the sense. <laughs> yeah, because like if they're, I, I mean, they had a kid together, or if they adopted her, or whatever it may be, I, I'd assume she would have took his the father's name. I, I mean, I'd go for the mother's name. Yeah, every, I feel like every majority of people do, and it's not out of. The, I mean, there's some people go by their mother's name, but that's because something happens with their father that. You know, like they're not in the picture anymore, and yeah. you know, so that's what it is. A, I mean, I mean but, not all the time because, like, if they're not married, you can put any last name you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's yeah. true. But I, I mean, based off the movie, it seems like they've been married for a while. Yeah, but like, it could have been a case of like she was born before. Like, it might not even be biological. It could be a stepdad. True. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's it, it's yeah. It's a little bit hard, mostly because they don't give us the full details of it. We're just ba we're just off assuming what we saw in the movie. So we don't necessarily know if it's a stepdad, if she's adopted, or they they've been married. So it's hard at this point why to tell why she doesn't have that. I mean, name. At the end of the day, doesn't really matter. No. Yeah. yeah. I, I I guess it's a very little nitpick because then if she was tombs. Maybe they would have uh, like found out earlier in the movie, like oh that, or at least we would have known. I was to say, like, you know? let's face it, for the purpose of the story, 
Yeah. No, you wouldn't really be like dramatic. So or just, maybe Tombs is her last name and Allen is her middle name, and she just yeah. is called Liz Allen because I True. that's something that's realistic that I've seen people. So do. she's LA because yeah. everyone has to have the two initials. And- no, well, I mean, that's just, I was just thinking, like, that's what I hear people do. They go by, like, I used to know this other guy yes, named Joe. Joe. His name I, was... I was joking. I was oh, well, I'm good. just saying, like, I'm just saying, mm-hmm. based on the movie, there's anybody in the comments, like, talking about, like, how that doesn't make sense. I used to know people who went by their middle name all the time. Like, there's this other guy named Joe. We used to call him Joe Lewis. You know, that was his middle name. Yeah. So, like, Mary it's Kate not out... Awesome. Yeah, it's not out of the uh, realm of possibility that, that that could happen, too. But it is, at the end of the day, it's a small nitpick, you know? Mm-hmm. So... And I've just forgotten the Easter egg I was going to mention. Fuck. Like John uh, Luke Picard. <laughs> or, is, or is John Luke his first name? I always thought it was John, and then Luke was his middle name, Picard. I don't know. I mean, you, you know more about Trek than I do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that shit. <laughs> now, when they do the little half mask in the puddle. They like do? When he's, un- he's under the rubble yeah. and like, he's throwing his oh, mask shit, yeah. up in the puddle. Yeah. They do oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, you're right. I remember that. You now, some people said that was corny and cheesy. It is, but at the same time, I didn't care. I was like, they did it at last. You, you need you. a bit of corny cheesiness in a Spider-Man film. Yeah. You, you know what I want to call people out? the fun comes from. I want to call some people out who just, like, go... Because uh, clearly they didn't know what it meant. The whole, like, the, the mascot running through the thing. Everybody... I saw comments saying, like, oh, that's cool. a reference to... Go get him, Tiger. Clearly y'all said that, and they just took it. And it's not really... That's, that we're, we're just assuming that. That's not the actual reference. Yeah. Mm. You tell them that. Hello. That's what most people are theorizing that it means now. Yeah. I, I still don't think that's true. I feel like Mitch is right in the sense that that's to another high school movie from back in the day that I just can't really pinpoint at the moment. But I, the tiger is not what's important. It's the fact that there's a guy in a mascot with this, the helmet off who's just running through scenes. Like That <laughs> yeah. still bothers me. But it's a tiger costume. That's, I don't care about that, but that still bothers me. That that's just so random. Like next time I, I watch that know, movie, I have to pay attention for this shit. You, it's yeah, three times. <laughs> There's one time where the the shocker, who the, the the black one, like he shows up, and then there's the uh, right, right at the end detention. At, oh no, yeah, it's when they're searching the school. Yeah, and like, they're, the they're hiding down like the other alley corridor, and he runs across. There's, there's one at detention. the end. Before, like that whole scene where they're all sitting together, and then they say, "Oh, my name's MJ," and all that. Like, yeah. there's that, and then there's another one that you mentioned, Mitch. I forgot exactly. It's the detention scene. Okay, yeah, the detention scene. Yeah. So there's but, those three of them. Yeah. Still but where bothered. is he running to? That's don't, what. Don't, no, don't know. He just literally runs across the, the that, frame, and that's, that's what I'm telling y'all. I'm like, still legit, convinced that Craven is hunting him. Maybe they played off the like the Ferris Bueller references where it was it's that on the nose. I'll go yeah, back and watch Ferris Bueller just so I know. Just so, I, just so I can pinpoint it, just because, like, I, it's just, I don't know why. It's, like, this one thing. Just about watch it. any John Hughes movie, I bet it'll be in there. True. Maybe that is a John Hughes thing. Yeah, that, I, it's in the back, but. I just realized uh, this podcast is, like, over an hour and ten minutes again. We're treating these people too good. we got to spit on them and call them names now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, we had a full podcast this week. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Tons of great topics and uh other things and um is there a movie this week is there something <laughs> no i don't think there's anything coming out this week oh planet of the apes that's what i was excited for i know like, second Val- valerian apparently got shot on last night if anyone cares about that. <laughs> i didn't care about Dude, it i didn't care about that movie up until i saw that like five minute preview that came with spider-man hole coming i was like dude okay i'll see that uh, I like, it, looked, it looked pretty good but mm. I didn't. Dane they, they've the been is a promoting really that at London Comic Con for two years now. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's like, a seriously. European comic, so yeah, there were there were banners for it two years ago, and I was just like, "What is this?" And this finally started coming back again now, and I'm just like, "Well, oh, looks good." Because last time it was just a picture of Dane DeHaan. And it was <laughs> like, like said, "Well, I don't know what this movie's about. It could be Twilight. I don't know." Yeah, so it's for Dane DeHaan. What's it, what's oh. it, the girl's name? I can't remember. She was in Suicide Squad. Uh, uh, p- naked tree chick. <laughs> no, there's I like I really want to know her name because I'm it's curious. It's Cara too. something. I can't remember her last Cara Delavine. Oh, Cara Delavine. Cara Delavine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Delavine. Delavine. Uh, yeah. Apparently, those two are just like toxic for movies at the minute. No. Yeah. I feel bad because Dane DeHaan, like I, what he's he did, talented. Yeah. I mean, really? he was good in that one movie and that no, one. He's movie good in a couple of movies. Was he good in that Power Rangers prequel or? Yeah. Yeah. But he was in the prequel. Wait, he what? was good in yeah. Chronicle, yeah. and he had a couple of films before that that he was supposedly like brilliant in. 
<laughs> uh, I'm gonna look it up. Um, let's see. Yeah. yeah, just look up Chronicle. So, it's the Power Ranger prequel. No, uh, no, I'm looking up what other movie he's done. Um, Lawless. There was that was West, good. Western. Yeah, that's it. Lawless. Yeah. Lawless was good. Mm. Uh, Chronicle, he was I still like... think, is amazing. I still love Chronicle. So, Chronicle this is past week, I was at the bookstore, and I was looking through the new comics and graphic novels, and they had Valerian, so I just picked it up. And there was literally, like, 15 volumes and a giant omnibus, and that was, like, part one. And I was just like, oh, man, this is not getting past one movie. What the fuck are they thinking? Yeah, I thought it was only, like, a 12... Like a Watchmen, like 12 issues. The thing is, like, th these books were huge. Like, there were so many of them. I was like, what is this? That, like, that no. might be the European part of it, where, like, we actually have substance in our books. Oh. So he's also, he was also in the movie Lincoln with Danny Day-Lewis. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. The, the the ones I remember that he did terrible in was A Cure for Wellness. That's A Cure for Wellness. Like, I hear it was terrible. Like right. Some the... people said that. It was a really good movie, and then others just said it was the worst piece yeah, of shit ever made. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hear that one more so than the, the first one you just mentioned. And uh, I, I I don't love Amazing Spider-Man 2, but I didn't think he did bad. I thought uh, yeah, I liked him in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Given. His hissy yeah. fit scene, really, uh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was directed everybody... and instructed, like, it, it was in the script that he had to do that. So yeah. what can he do, like, just refuse. Everybody had their preference. Um, let me see. I, that's really, like... I feel like his biggest break was either Chronicle or Lincoln. It might have been more Chronicle. And well, Chronicle, Chronicle was, was his out. first big one, yeah. Yeah. I feel, okay, the uh, the only person who really went off after that was Michael B. Jordan. Because neither the director <laughs> nor two of the three main co-stars, or even the one main one, actually well, had that great of a Frank's career. Josh making a movie with Tom Hardy now, apparently. Ooh! I gotta check it out. I, look, I think Josh <laughs> Trank has just been misunderstood, in my opinion. Oh, I feel too. like... He I feel like he can. Yeah. He's a visionary, I tell ya. I, I think yeah, he can no, produce a good movie at least. Like, no, no, not I, 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 he's so misunderstood. He trashes all the hotel rooms and. Okay, yeah. Fantastic Four, but if you yeah. hire him, let him make the movie you hired him to make. Uh,